Hi everyone, we're starting the online ceremony for the awards and recognitions in e-culture 2021 that corresponds to the year uh, 2019 and 2020. So what are we going to be awarding today? First, the different connections and collaborations and co-creations through the network Anisha Cultural and its partners. There's different institutions and people that we want to uh, acknowledge in this event. These um, awards come because um, of the need to acknowledge the work of um, cooperation that we do through the internet. So I'm going to briefly share a presentation that is going to guide us during the event. So in this way, in 2018, we had the first online activity. It was online and face-to-face. Um, -face. Uh, we had um, the event from the Teatro Solís in Montevideo. We had representatives online and face-to-face um, -face as well from Chile, United States, Brazil, Uruguay, and they received an online recognition. After this activity, today we're going to, to focalize on the work of 2019 in Co-Creation Lab, 2019 and 2020. And we're going to continue with the awards in um, trajectories and in collaboration which is a traditional line for this award that's already in its second edition. But today, especially, we're going to be generating a new category that we call uh, Promises because we invited institutions and people to, to join Anisha Cultural and to join these synergies that we have been developing. So for that, we're also going to, to announce who are going to be uh, nominated as promises. Every promise for 2020 that are ongoing are going to be left for the 2022 awards. So we're just going to focus on 2019 and 2020, mainly for co-creation labs. So I would like to thank the uh, interpreters, Lucia Bonilla and Maria Eugenia Sus, that are doing the, the interpreting to, to English and Spanish. We are recording. So we are going to be uploading to uh, to the internet the complete transmissions. Um, in the transmission, you can hear the original audio. So thanks to them for the for their collaboration today. Let's give some context. vamos a posicionar first um, category. So in the first place, we have collaboration in e-culture. That's... Um, we're going to mention the award in e-culture for collaboration to Real Cudi, who has been leading for some years, five years to be exact, more years, really, more than five years, mainly in uh, simultaneous interpretation, 
um, online content and other things. So let's hear them. Congratulations again for this award and go ahead. Thank you, Velma, for this consideration. For CUI, Mexico, it has been a, a journey of a lot of learning. This project has given us a lot of challenges and has motivated motivated us to look for solutions in the diff, in the collaboration between different cultures and institutions. Distance has stopped being a barrier, and we have found technological media to allow communication and as a consequence and through the shared experiences we can uh, be, we became a space to share knowledge that has allowed us to use what we have learned in other areas when we started our collaborations through the different platforms uh, we were motivated uh, by the idea to know the ideas in the in the region and the world Every person that was involved insisted until we found a solution and we wondered if this effort was going to pay off. So now we have our answer. The, the, the pan, pandemic uh, helped us to share what we learned through the Internet. And now that's uh, a part of our everyday life. And we can break this in this way, the barriers between language and cultures. So thank you for this opportunity to take what we have learned to the world. And I want to again say that we are, we'll always support the projects of Anisha Cultural. And now I'm going to give way to Eduardo Romero, who is actually the author of The Magic We Could Share. Thank you, Elma. Hello, my name is Eduardo Romero. I'm the responsible for the video conference in Cudi. And I think as a Mexican network, it's our job to be um, current and to innovate and to give uh, tools to society because we owe ourselves to society. Mexico, what we do is uh, free and that's our purpose is to work for the people and if we can support or help with our institutions in any way we're going to be there that's our purpose so i thank the institutions that gave us their trust like anisha cultural and other institutions in our country so thank you very much. Thank you. You showed through the avatar. It's a very good example of what we do in video conferencing. Thank you, Kuli, for being with us. So let us uh, keep going so everyone can participate, comment, and it's fun for everyone. Now let's look at uh, the category co-creation lab and I would like to show the presentation that is, uh, visualizes the idea. We, are, we were very interested in co-creation labs. You can see the boxes there ready to, to go, <laughs> the prizes, the recognitions, the objects that we're going to send to you. We were interested in particular uh, in recognizing the work of Brian Reel and Mati Amalainen uh, in USA and Finland, respectively, because in 2018 they published the book Art of Co-Creation, a guide to, and they contributed to co-creation as a discipline, as a study discipline. And in particular, in 2019, Brian and Mati were involved in the um, training and follow-up in the investigation um, for uh, co-creator groups, uh, helping and giving advice and 
group dynamics. So we want to mention especially for the, their contribution to the field. The next uh, people who are going to award, I'm going to mention everyone and then we'll do the comment round. The next one we want to distinguish is Justin Trigger. He has been participating with Anisha Cultural, giving conferences and talks since 2017. And he was also key to in the uh, in the link between Anisha Cultural and the, the the region for the for the teaching of uh, sound and music involving the network of performing arts that you're going to see later. So him and other key people were key for this project. Justin gave a lot of time to the motivation and guidance of the co-creator groups. So because of these activities, he was invited to participate in 2020 um, to participate in co-creation lab super leagues. So congratulations, Justin. The next person we want to acknowledge today is Tom Gorman. Since 2018, he's been giving uh, classes and him and Justin Trigger were key people in the involvement of Anisha Cultural with the global network of performing arts through the advanced internet. Tom Horman, through his theater project, has been able to generate content to the for the co-creator groups, and he was also invited to the lab within what we um, name Super Leagues in 2020. So really a strong presence and a strong collaboration from his part in co-creation. The next person we want to acknowledge Carrie Tunstall is a, a New Zealand artist and was distinguished especially for his work with visual arts and electricity, high voltage electricity. He works with a university that is specialized in high voltage in New Zealand. He was a first top-notch collaborator with an amazing development in 2019. So he was invited to continue in 2020 and we have been working with him through the uh, co-creation process. The next person we want to mention and award and acknowledge is Lucia Vandenberg. She has been a avid participant in Anisha since 2011. And she has involved her students, her community. She works in the in Colonia in Uruguay and she has um, joined us from her farm a lot of times and she has worked from her farm in the co-creation labs so because of her journey in Anisha Cultural and in biology and education in Uruguay is that we consider that she needs to be acknowledged, her collaboration, her co-creation has to be acknowledged. So because of her abilities, we have invited her to participate in Co-Creation Lab Super League in 2020. And she's still with us. So up to now, uh, there is... So now we're going to do an introduction for everyone to to do um, and say something about themselves, and then we're going to do the um, trajectory award. So maybe we can do it in order. Brian, Mati, can you start? Go ahead. Sure. 
So first of all, it has been a great privilege to be able to participate uh, in the establishment of this co-creation lab. And uh, uh, I think I can speak on both of our behalf. So we will, we are really looking forward to seeing what happens next and, and hope that we can help in establishing this uh, co-creation community and uh, helping everyone taking their, their next steps. So thank you. Gracias, Mati, por conectar desde, desde Thank Finland. You. Mati, for connecting from Finland. Please, Justin, go ahead. Um, well, I don't feel like I necessarily am deserving of an award, as Tom told us yesterday, but um, I'm quite humbled to be receiving one. And um, I would like to return my opportunity to talk about myself with thanking Delma for her efforts to organize this project, which I think just purely by the people within this call demonstrates her ability to connect people and mutual interests. So um, I just feel lucky to be a part of this group and the project and thank Delma for all the work that she's put into it. So she can have my award as far as I'm concerned. Justin, Tom, adelante. Thank you, Justin. Tom, go ahead. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm, I'm with Justin on this. I, I think I said to Delma and Justin, I don't, I'm really, really honored for a start, but I really don't feel that you know you deserve an award for having so much fun uh and that's what this has been it's been it's been incredibly fun it's been incredibly stimulating i get to meet and, and work with uh brilliant diverse incredible creative people and to make exciting work who wouldn't want to work this way and the fact that you know we, we get an award as well for having so much fun is just the cherry on the cake. It, it's been a long year, as I'm sure you've all realized, but this has this has been a great honor and it's, it's really, really made my year. So thank, thank you so much. Gracias, Tom. Vamos a pasar a, a Lucia. Thank you, Tom. We're going to start with uh, Lucia Vandenberg. Jerry has sent her greetings. It's Saturday in New Zealand right now. And tomorrow there is a national holiday, very, a very important national holiday for the war veterans. And her family is very involved, so they are traveling towards the memorial. And that is why she hasn't, she wasn't able to, to connect with us today. We send her our greetings. She will have access to the recording. Thank you very much. Delma, thank you for your efforts. It's great, the possibility to be here with personalities uh, from the from the arts very things came up for me when i was able to to meet people from every part of the world and from the biology perspective a whole new world opened up for me when you start working in this in this platform a lot of new ideas appear and to see how to make them come true it's a great um, experience. Thank you for our talks, which are always so stimulating and helpful for innovation purposes to help us study with our students. And what I mentioned before, Delma, is something that is very important for me, which is art. Art has, was always very important in my life. 
but that's not always uh, the case. And it's very important to bring art closer to our students. Thanks, um, everyone present. Thank you, Lucia, for your words. You all do deserve your, your awards. There's been many work involved, many hours connected, a lot of motivation, a lot of involvement of different networks. I think that that is uh, behind the motive behind these awards to reflect about what we do, particularly in the e-culture field. That's why I would like to start next with the section devoted to trajectories. Anisha Cultural, the cultural ring, is not inventing anything new, really. We want to mention people that has been involved for several years in the e-culture field. In particular, the award for Andoil, and is a pioneer in the formation of e-networks in the performing art, arts. She has stimulated associated networks globally, and Anisha Cultural has been a part of her networks in the US as we still do. Her work has contributed significantly to the growth of e-culture locally, regionally, and globally. Congratulations, Anne. You're a pioneer, but also you continue to to be involved in, in very important projects within the performing arts uh, in relation to the internet, as you will tell us about later. Also, we would like to acknowledge Claudio Alocchio, from the Academics uh, Network in Italy. Claudio works in innovation and in development, in technical developments in IT. He contributes in the field of e-culture with quality tools that enable concerts and performances distributed around the world. Focusing on the importance of empowering human and technological networks, Claudio participates with Anisha Cultural in Uruguay fostering networked collaboration for the performing arts through the internet. There is a lot to explore, a lot to work with, many things to continue discussing with Anne's work as well as Claudia's work. We would also would like to acknowledge within the trajectory Awards is Juan Insua for his great contribution to cultural innovation in general within e culture. He directs uh, projects and festivals, curates exhibitions, and directs cultural editions in different formats, formats and platforms, expanding the cultural management of the arts um, in a transdisciplinary way. We haven't forgotten about your contributions on how to think about sciences, arts, and the way they connect. He's a founder member of Anisha Cultural Latino America Europe from Barcelona, and he has started several projects and continues to work in projects in collaboration with Anisha's um, with Anisha Cultural in your own. He will have the opportunity to comment, to share his um, opinions. Thank you, Anne. 
Entonces, en el orden, Claudia Loquio, Juan Isidro. Anne, go ahead. Thank you, Delma. And thank you to our translators, because I don't speak Spanish. I should, but I don't, not yet. Um, I've been doing this work for 20 years. I, I realized this past year, it's been 20 years. And I learned very early on that the way to succeed is to find your innovative collaborators. And so in the very beginning, New World Symphony, um, Manhattan School of Music, Cleveland Institute of Music, and Claudio Alokio, we all came together and said, we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to understand how to use technology for uh, master classes, multi-site performance, um, remote auditions, and how can we learn um, together? Over the years, we learned that there were people all over the world doing this same work, like Delma. And the more we came together, the more we learned from each other, and the more we, we were able to share um, what we were doing. My, my one observation that I will share from my perspective is the great and wonderful irony is in my opinion, the most amazing innovations in technology are in this field, but it's not about the technology. It's about sharing culture. It's about sharing music and dance and theater and art. And that's what matters to everybody that I have the pleasure and honor of working with. And I will say that it is the honor of a lifetime to be doing this work, to be inventing the future with all of you. Um, and I thank um, you, Delma, for your pioneering work. And I am honored and grateful and thank you for recognizing the, the contribution I've been making. So thank you. Thank you, Anne. We, I, I don't think I mentioned it, but Anne works in the United States uh, uh, in Internet too. the founders of the Internet work, so that's not a small detail. Go ahead, Claudio. Sorry, I do it in English, even if I understand Spanish. But no, my Spanish is too bad to, to talk to you so openly. Well, I, I think Tom said a very important thing that uh, put all of us together. We have fun. We do these things because we love them. We do these things because we have so much fun. When we see people collaborating together, uh, managing to do things which seems impossible, uh, going beyond the limit that you believe the day before you cannot go, or even inventing new things because you just gave them a tool or something and then they start to create new things uh, I, I think the most important thing that in in this award which i was not expecting at all as justin i mean i said you really but but it is just what i do every day for everybody so uh, I, I i i deserve it for the daily work fine but really i i think that the people the most important thing that the people should do is to talk to each other to share to share their ideas, to share their art, to share whatever they see happening in, in the world. I, I, when I was a very young student, uh, I was told by one of the teachers, always, always share what you think, because that's the way that you understand, if you understand the, the matter, and that's the way that everybody else can give you a new idea, make you invent some innovation and so on. And this is what I do. I, I try to do with technology, but I try to do it with art as well. And when, uh, when I sit down, like, for example, this morning, there was yet another of the many sessions where people use technology just to teach music. I was there, and after two minutes, I was listening to music. And I forgot that what was behind it is technology that I contributed to invent. And that's it. That's a good thing. You forget about the tool and you concentrate on art. Uh, I hope that 
I am able to help everybody else to understand this, uh, this path, these uh, trajectories that we have to follow. Follow the innovation, follow the idea and create a better world. So thank you very much, really, thank you very much. Gracias, Claudio. Eh, vamos a decir, eh, Thank you, Claudio. Um, a keyword is NOLA. It's the acronym for Low Latency Audio, LOLA. One of the main things in these uh, networks uh, for artistic content is this. And it's important to music. And Cl Claudio has worked a lot with this. So thank you, Claudio. Juan Insua, go ahead. Well, thank you so much, Delma, for this acknowledgement. It's a, a nice surprise. I don't remember the, the, the first meeting in San Pablo, what year it was. That moment, we had connections with Chile, Brazil, Argentina, um, Spain. And then Uruguay, from the first moment, um, have done an amazing job. And it's amazing the amount of networks and all the networks you have weaved globally. I'm very proud. In the last few years, we have felt and we have lived in a certain way, and it's very personal. We have seen the dark side of the internet. I mean that uh, from the dream of the founding father, fathers of internet, it changed because internet is used for other things other than the emancipation of the minds and the people. So in that moment, I have a crisis, an existential crisis that is accelerated by the pandemic, of course. But I, I've known for a while that when we talk about the difference between online and face-to-face, -face, it doesn't make much sense because we live in a virtual world that's um, steered through the 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 face-to-face -face part. So it's, it's a new stage. The pandemic has accelerated something that uh, already had been born. And I would like to have uh, the, I would like to trust words like co-creation, collaboration, um, distributed networks. People have forgotten this concept. It's not decentralized networks, but it's a network where all nodes are communicating with each other. So a, a real distributed internet is one that allows every node to communicate with every node. To, um, not to create like closed off networks. That's the prior priority. I'm, I'm sure that everyone will agree with me on this. This is the most important part. Those prior priorities one of them is the accelerated advance of um, climate change and what we can do to uh, slow it down. So it's, it's a lot of issues. And I'm happy to see that we are connecting from different parts of the world and that you have activated all this from Uruguay with enthusiasm and perseverance and talent. And thank you so much for all your work. Thank you, Juan. I think that we we started um, started uh, coming into things that were already in motion, and we integrated and helped to generate new things. And these are the possibilities that these networks provide to us. Thanks to all three of you. They're not um, minor trajectories. So uh, you honor us. 
as well. So now we are going to go to, to a special part because it's a different part. So the, it's the Promises Award. Um, th this, this award, uh, be it in the first edition or this edition, it references just that. The interest and the desire of to integrate new members and new projects and new possibilities um, for synergy and co-creation. So from several um, exchanges, we consider that there's going to be only one Promise Award, and this is going to go to the artist, Paolo Chuarri, and to the foundation, to the Chuarri Foundation. Because I had the pleasure in 2014 to participate in an initiative that he invited us to. It was um, a, a transmission from the foundation. It's in the middle of the of the of the country in Uruguay. It's in a remote location in the Punta del Este area. Maybe that rings a bell, Punta del Este, but it's in a remote area. So at uh, that time, what we did, we generated an online activity um, to give an award that he gives for several years, and it was the award for young creators. And young creators from all over the country that are doing um, high school, he gets them together and he takes them to the foundation, not only to talk to him, that's not a minor part because he's an artist and a great human, but the um, kids also um, create with him, that, which is a big thing because Pablo works with marble, a different uh, Carrara marbles that he brings from Italy. So that is when we started our connection with the foundation and with him and with his creative and culture environment. It was generating a very interesting um, very interesting focal point for the for culture in Punta Elite. This year, the foundation announced that is going to be opening a new museum that's going to be called MACA, designed by Carlos Ott, an Uruguayan architect who designed the new opera in Paris. It's a very innovative design. And it was interesting to us it was uh, we thought it was it would be interesting to invite him to integrate the next museum and all foundation activities in co-creation labs and and our promissory museum so welcome he can tell everyone what he's what he's doing what he's working on how he sees the situation you're going to see also in the next awardees how everything ties together. We hope from this promise a lot of success and a lot of collaborations can come from it. Go ahead, Pablo. I don't know if you're there. Yes, I'm here. Well, thank you very much first for inviting me and for this award. I think that the biggest award is uh, a, a kid's smile. I think that the to be able to spread art and to help everyone um, to discover their artistic part is very important. This project that's been ongoing for 15 years in Uruguay. I live in Italy for a great part of the year, but, but I think that the legacy is going to stay in Uruguay, in this foundation. This foundation has is, a, is in a 40-acre park, so it's not just an artistic experience. It's a, an, a, 
a connection with nature as well or nature embracing art and nature is uh, we're all part of a great mother nature we think about uh, young people children and young people from all ages it is connection with art is very important to feel as a part of the, of this project is important all, all of this is with a it's free the, the entrance is free. We had the privilege of having the National Ballet and Julia Boca, who was the director at that time. And for the opening of the museum, we are going, uh, it's going to be on the 8th of January next year. We are going to have also the presence of the uh, National Sodre Ballet that gives a lot of joy and an idea of integration between arts. I remember that my mother, who was a school teacher, said every art should hold hands. So this is, in a nutshell, the project of the foundation. It also um, involves representing artists from the continent. MACA is um, American Contemporary Art Museum, or it's um, acronym in Spanish. So the idea is to build bridges. And it's, it's, it's great that through networks and through the internet, the work everyone does can be known. So it's It's nice to be there face to face, but it's also nice to have the a bit the the tools to do it online. So thank you very much for this space. Thank you, Elma. Thank you, Pablo. You're connecting from Miami. Give my best to Silvana that we see her there. Always there. We recommend especially that if you're in Miami, you visit New York Symphony so we can connect you to that so you can see the possibilities of um, online work and that the New York Symphony is a pioneer in. Thank you for your for being here. Now we're going to uh, talk about the collaboration category. I think with this Pablo, Silvana and everyone else Everyone else seeing the transmission are going to, you, you, you can know what we talk about when we talk about collaboration and what are other connections it implies. So if you allow me, I'm going to go on with the presentation. In e-culture, in collaboration in e-culture, it's Kudi, and we're also going to distinguish the academic Uruguayan network that from the beginning of Anisha Cultural has been with us, collaborating, supporting us in different ways. And in co-creation labs, they supported with student teachers, investigators, initiatives. They, through their efforts, through their work, in Rao in particular, they have generated an infrastructure to be simultaneous interpreting for co-creation labs. We're talking about interpretations that have been done in Spanish, English, Portuguese, everything at the same time. Rao also housed a different kind of synergies that was um, done in interpreting, for example, for Quechua language within um, indigenous languages. And in a very near future, we're going to have doing an activity in Japanese. So thank you, Rao, for being there. We continue within the collaboration network with RMP the National Research Network of Brazil. RMP has been 
it has been key for the inclusion of information um, from Anisha Cultural. It facilitated the creation of e-culture and it's contributed communications for the participation of um, every part, almost every part of Brazil. And that, that talks about a very strong communication. RMP has its own projects in the e-culture field. For instance, their film network. Particularly um, films in 8K, which is a very high definition. And so for all of the RMP has been acknowledged once again for their uh, diffusion works. RMP's task in culture, it means that every collaboration in the culture field with them is, is very easy. Red Clara is the next and um, it involves the networks in the Latin American region. It's always have had a very strong collaboration in cultural projects. It's been key in supporting logistically the co-creation lab. And Clara Network has also helped to start collaborations with other countries in the region. So thank you, Red Clara, who's also here. And finally, but not least, we want to we want to acknowledge the translation degree at Udelar, because since 2015, students and teachers of this translation degree have collaborated to generate multilingual access to Anisha's contents. And For instance, in the interpretations of Quechua and Quichua, it was done with local interpreters in Ecuador and in Peru, but the work methodology for the network interpreting was provided by the, well, by the international networks, but by the um, collaboration of the translation degree in Uruguay. All of this has been used for the improvement in the education of uh, translation studies students. And having today the interpretation, the simultaneous interpretation by Maria Eugenia Sousa and Lucia Bonilla already. Um, it's part of this collaboration. And so we thank them. Now we're going to give them the opportunity to to talk. We'll start with Rao. Sí, Delma, acá está ahí. Este, Delma, yes, here we are. Bueno, eh, muchísimas gracias. Eh, Thank you very much. A, al premio de cultura en la categoría the colaboración. Award in the collaboration. Este, ha sido un placer participar. It's been a pleasure cooperando. to collaborate, to eh, cooperate. Personalmente y además institucionalmente. Personally, but also institutionally. Que, que, que es una actividad este, muy, muy importante. It's a que, very important que la gente thing tiene to que, do. Que, que recibir y tiene que dar. I think that o sea, es un, es un ida y vuelta. Be a part. It's a Creemos este, también en las temáticas, en las temáticas de arte, We believe in internet, the, comunicaciones, the, este, y por supuesto in eh, en la cultura, que, que es algo que se hace, que, culture, que se construye el día a día. Entonces, simplemente muchas gracias so este, really en, en nombre de, de la RAU. 
Eh, on the name of Raúl. Eh, muchas gracias por el esfuerzo, Delma. Este, creo que Thank es, you for este, your efforts, Delma. es muy, muy bueno seguir este, apoyando. Este, It is very este important to continue to support this kind of initiatives. Gracias, Luis. Te saludamos también, creo que Julio. Thank Cardoso, you, Luis. Also to Mariela de León, Julio Cardoso. We will continue with RMP. Please go ahead. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, hear Michael. Me? Go okay. ahead. Fine. So good, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I should explain that I'm speaking in English because uh, uh, the options were for English and Spanish, and like Claudio, uh, my English is, is better than my Spanish. Um, We'd like thank the uh, RMP uh, would like to thank you very much for for the award you you have uh, given to us. Um, as a network, we have existed since the late '80s, early '90s, and we've developed continuously the capacity and the extent of this net of our network, and it has always been for me, for others, fascinating to explore the frontier of what can be done with more able networks. And uh, I think that has been the uh, one of the factors which uh, we have been inspired by uh, since the beginning. Um, since 2005, which uh, is relatively recently, <laughs> RNP has been exploring the possibilities of these networks for matters such as music, transmission of music, of dance, uh, for applications like telehealth. Uh, and these have brought together uh, a number of people who work in, in our universities who have been specializing in, in some of these matters. Um, perhaps one of the most well known of these is Guido Lemos from the Federal University of uh, Paraíba, who has been greatly involved in developing support for, for uh, many of these activities, and particularly in the cultural area. Um, it was mentioned by, I think Delma mentioned that we had uh, experience with 8K television. This was rather interesting. It kind of fell out of the sky. Um, we, the Japanese have been planning the Olympic Games for a long, long time. Uh, they still don't know whether they're going to have them this year, but they're trying hard. But it was decided um, a long time ago, like maybe 2012, that, oh no, 2011, that they were going to transmit the Olympic Games in 8K television. To the whole of their country and to anybody else who could take on and uh, it was our fortune that uh, we had um, two dates before this happened the the uh, world cup in um, 2014 and the olympic games two years later which gave them the opportunity to uh, remove some of the bugs in their uh, their 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 systems and uh, we gain, gain greatly from collaborating with them providing them with the, the resources that we could offer to them uh, on the subject of lola lola has fascinated people here for for some time we're grateful uh, to claudio for its uh, uh, its improve its creation uh, Unfortunately, there, there, there are some limitations of distance uh, for, for its uh, full uh, appreciation. And uh, the, Brazil is a big country, so we haven't always been able to, uh, to make a, a, the use of it we, we, we might have been able to do with a smaller country. Uruguay is very well uh, specialized for this. Um, uh, the, the person who's been most interested in, in Lola uh, is Guido Lemus again. Um, and uh, he has uh, had some experience of this. Most recently in the case of this particular event of uh, the co-creation lab, uh, RNP has been 
looking or seeking out collaborators for taking part in the activities there. And this has been done mainly by two of our people at RNP, Leandro Siufo and Alex Mora, who have together been uh, making contacts and uh, uh, showing people how, what they need to do to be able to collaborate and so on. So there, 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 there has been a long, say, history of, of this kind of activity. We're, we're grateful that it is recognized and I would like to thank you very much for, for, for the uh, for the prize you've given us. Gracias, Michael, por tu palabra. Thank you, Michael, for your words. Also, you're a pioneer on internet in the region. Acknowledged many times. It's an honor for us to have you here. Alex Moura, who's also here, thank you and all of the RMP team, because generating any project with you is synergic and language is not a barrier, rather the opposite. We have somehow more, it's, it's easier to collaborate with the same Spanish speaking countries, but this actually strengths the region. So thank you once again. We're going to acknowledge activities and people who have contributed to this collaborative ecosystem. And afterwards, we will close the live trans transmission and we'll move on to some co-working. Mark, are you ready? Go ahead. Well, thank you for inviting us, Delma. In the name of Clara, Clara Network. This is the sort of like the federation of networks, some of which are present. We wanted to to make this this acknowledgement by Anisha Cultural available to all of the national networks networks. Los dueños de la casa finalmente los que que trabajan who are really the todos actores the ones that are doing the field work with all of the different participants that Michael mentioned. And I wanted to especially emphasize that we are representing sort of like the structural aspects. We are the tool that helps to potenti potentiate or, or give new opportunities to reach the new frontier in the cultural um, sector. What this year, what this past year has taught us what we have endured has taught us the, the relevance of the cultural dimension, the dimension of culture in our lives. And because of having been banned from the social or physical proximity, to have these new tools um, in order to replace that, that physical proximity becomes, has become something very relevant. And I wanted to dedicate this to the main protagonists that have been working in this. I really agree with what Andoyle was saying at the beginning, which is that that's what makes us, that's what makes life go forward.
A ver si podemos retomar a, a Mark. Oh, Mark, let's see if we can get back the connection with him. Hola. Hola. Sí. Mark, adelante. De pronto. Mark, go ahead. Puedes este, mutear tu video. Maybe you can turn off your video. Sí, sí, voy a, Ahí buena está. Idea. Yeah, se good idea. Que... Gonna do that. Go ahead. So to sum up, like I was saying, mainly I wanted to dedicate this award to the real actors. You're behind that mostly in the background. And we are we help the real actors, we give them tools to to do their activities and the cultural field better. We help, we, we show the possibilities that the new digital media give to the real actors. So thank you, Delma, and everyone. Thank you, Mark. So we're going to close the we closed co creation labs in 2019 from the House of the Internet. So thank you. It was a very interesting event. So Federico Brum, as a uh, traductorado coordinator. So hi, everyone. Thank you for your invitation. First, I want to say that I'm aware I'm going to I'm being interpreted uh, by two of our. Uh, so I promise to uh, don't rush so I don't make them crazy. So interpreting is very interdisciplinary and collaborative. When we started working with Anisha in 2015, we couldn't imagine everything we were going to do with Cudi, Julio Cardoso, Delma, and her uh, relentless work. We can agree on that. We worked in Portuguese and in English and in Spanish. It has been a very nice experience for us. We have done real conferences with real people to interpret and for Anisha that needed interpreters. So we have this kind of synergy that's really very beneficial for both parts. We have worked with a lot of things, neutrinos with the South Pole, the CERN accelerator. We have worked with um, ancestors, e-culture, whatever you can imagine. A woman playing the theremin, the comparsita in Uruguay, someone dancing it has been a, an amazing experience the work with anisha and we expect to keep having because it's a very a great opportunity for our students so thank you very much for the award congratulations for all the work you have done and uh great um hi to marijena and lucia who are interpreting right now and we are available for uh to keep working with you thank you federico it's nice to that you remember the first activity. We had done interpreting activities, but we needed more to expand uh, to more content. And the first activity was in 2015 with the Neutrino Observatory in Antar in the Antar in the Antarctic. It was an interconnection. Uh, thing because the voice was through the phone, the video was through somewhere else, so it's very interesting, and that's how we started with our activities, and that has um, that has built what Federico described to um, better the professionalism in um, interpreting. Something else, Delma, I, I don't, I don't want to forget the. This is amazing because this has been a step before what is happening. So last year we had been doing 
uh, Zoom conferences and people from all over the world. So that's very particular, no? Because uh, with Anisha, we're always a step ahead of what's going to come. That's unbelievable and amazing. So thank you. Thank you, Federico. I think that step ahead is the description of these networks that maybe are more steps ahead than Anisha Cultural, and that's what makes the collaboration work because we all have something to bring to the table and we give it for the common good and for the different activities we do to help to further culture. So what we saw with pandemic, uh, the streamings and stuff, we had already been doing this before. So Anne, Claudio, and everyone was working with this before. Mm, we had been working with latency, good streaming, everything before. So there's a potential there that maybe within culture, world not e-culture but culture it's still not we, we ha, it hasn't under, understood it or internalized it yet so these awards um, are important in that aspect so to 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 be able to bring to all the world things that are needed today so today, now we're going to go to uh, some acknowledgements that are part of this 2019-2020 uh, ecosystem. And then we can um, stay and co-work for a bit. So continuing with the presentation, we want to acknowledge the groups of co-creators in 2019 from 80 um, nominees from four continents, um, the ones that uh, really generate projects. It was the Performing Arts Group, the Art Connections Ethology, and Rajuela. So in this sense, we're going to re recognize the work of Natalia, Janina, in Uruguay, the Ecuador, Brazil, Harry Tunstall in New Zealand, Lucia Banda Marín, Uruguay, María Laura Cabrera, Alejandra González, Paloma González, Fabiana Mautone in Uruguay. So congratulations for that. And from this people, we, 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 we took people to invite to continue. We studied their profiles and invited them to come to Co-Creation Lab Super Leagues. So the collaborations in culture, institutional and experts, we want to mention the engineering school in the UDELAR, the Casa Internet de Montevideo, Escuela Neuropatía del Uruguay, that helped generate activities in the three face to face encounters and activities inspired by Brian's and Matty's book, was Brains on the Beach. It was a very fun activity. was also interpreted in three languages to generate synergies. Thank you to experts like Laura Moacedi from Austria, Gita Senka, and Ladia Anadomitriu in the UK, Maria Lujan Oulton from Argentina, Gabriel Lambach from Uruguay, Adeus Moseli from Brazil, and Marina Nganu from Romain, Romania. They participated in co-creation labs, helping, uh, assessing, supporting co-creators. And Tadeus, Museli, and Marina also uh, did the final project assessment. So our acknowledgement to them and our uh, thanks. We want to recognize, acknowledge from 2020 some projects that are ongoing and that are going to be awarded in 2022. So, but we still want to acknowledge them and mention them. It was the fifth online Congress, like Federico said, it was when we tried the um, interpreting tool within Zoom that was in beta stage. 
And thank you to all experts, international reference uh, that participated in that Congress that was done in the middle of the pandemic, in the middle of the lockdown. It was done in the, in the 5th and 6th of May of last year. So the, the, the work was distributed differently from other um, works that we have done before. So it, a whole structure was uh, built for that and was a success. And we want to uh, comment that it's going to be awarded in the 2022 awards that is still ongoing. So Filosofía Ciudadana is also ongoing. So those activities, we acknowledge them. We value them, we mention them because they have been very big, but they are going to be awarded in the 2022 um, awards. So thank, other than thanking you a lot of times, we want to keep building a co-creation community that is sustainable because we think that is where we are going to find the key to discover innovative uh, paths to solutions that perhaps are very important to us during these times. Glocal is the um, formed through global and, and local. This is important to advance as a community and as a person and sustainable, which is implies look to the future, to a future that may exist and that it may exist for a long, long time. Thank you for all of this to all of you. And we will see each other in the new uh, edition in 2022. That's, um, So the 2021 edition, because of the pandemic, we did it this year. We announced it last year. So thank you. We are going to cut the public transmission and we can stay um, to take some minutes to chat and co-work for a bit. So if you'll allow me, I'll close the transmission and we'll stay chatting here. Thank you very much. See you next time.